A week after my father died, suddenly I understood his fondness for me was safe. Nothing could touch it. In that last year, his face sometimes brightened when I entered the room, and his wife said that once, when he was half asleep, he smiled when she said my name. He respected my spunk. When they had tied me to the chair that time, they were tying up someone he respected. And when he did not speak for weeks, I was one of the beings to whom he was not speaking. Someone with a place in his life. The last week he even said it, once, by mistake. I walked into his room and said, how are you? And he said, I love you too. From then on, I had that word to lose. Right up to the last day, I could make some mistake, offend him, and with one of his old mouths of disgust, he could rescue my life. I did not think of it much. I was busy wiping his face and holding his cup and touching his shoulder. But then, a while after he died, I suddenly thought, with amazement, he will always love me now. And I laughed. He was dead. Dead. 